Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Joker and the Thief by Wolfmother. Uh, so we are in drop D tuning here, so it's uh, D, A, D, G, B, E. So that's starting from the 6th string. One more time. D, A, D, G, B, and E. Alright, so that's basically just tuning your 6th string down to D. That's all you need to do. Everything else is in standard. So let's start here. We have a few... Um, Parts so we have a little guitar solo to cover too. Um, so we're gonna go through the whole thing, note for note. So let's start with that um, main lick, which you you know, obviously it starts the songs, the chorus, and everything. So that's gonna be this. So while he's doing that, there's kind of like a, a flanger or phaser effect going on there. So you gotta hit the open D string, hammer on fifth fret on the D, and then the seventh, and then do the exact same thing on the G string. We had this. So it sounds a lot more difficult than it actually is to play. It's just basically the same thing taken across two strings. But when you get it up to speed, it really sounds like there's a lot going on there. All right, so then we have the main riff of the song. Now, the first time he plays it, he does a slight little variation that he doesn't do the rest of the song. Um, you might have seen me play it when I did it earlier. So it sounds like this. All right, so let's look at that riff, and I'll show you where that little variation's at. We're going to start here just grabbing... Your, your third finger across the three lowest strings. So since it's in drop D, we can just play that uh, one finger as it's an entire power chord. So that's the twelfth fret on the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. And as you pick it with downstrokes, you're going to mute the string. You're going to lift up the pressure so it quits ringing. But don't leave the strings because that create a bunch of noise. So we have this. Then you're going to do this, down on the 12, then use your first finger to play across the 10th fret there on those three bottom strings with an upstroke. Do that again. So we have this. So you do that three times, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we have this. Now here's where that variation is. He starts the riff again. He does the down, up, down, up between 12 and 10 twice, and then hits the 12, and instead of going to 10 here the third time, he comes and grabs the 15th fret there. Move it up your third finger. So we have this. All right, now all the other times he plays this riff in the song, he doesn't jump over to the 15th fret there. He just continues going 12, 10. But I'm just put that there just so you know it's there because you're going to hear it at the very beginning uh, the first time he cranks into that riff. So, so far we have this. I'll play the riff now without the variation since that's the most times it's played. So we have this. Now do that one more time. So after doing all that three times, then move up here to the 15th fret. And doing that same down, 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 but you're doing it at 15. Then up to 17. And that's when you're going to do that. But you're going to end it up here, 17, 15. Doing that phrase down up there on the 17 and 15 three times. So we have this all together for the whole riff. So you start that over. Now, when it's leading into the, um, when it starts going into the pre-chorus, or you have these um, different ending to it, instead of going, you're gonna hear the riff the same way, but when they get to 15, you're just gonna hit it and kill it, and then 17, and so that's gonna sound like this.
All right, so it's basically the same thing, except you're just making it a lot easier on yourself and just hitting those last two notes and, and killing it like that. So, so far we've pretty much covered that intro lick and that the main riff there. And then um, that, that lick right there, which is pretty much just the verse with that little, the ending, and just like that with this one little chord stabs on those 15 and 17. All right, so the only other thing we really have to uh, talk about now is the solo. Um, and it sounds like this. So that little section I did, I'm going to cover that by itself, but he just kind of going between 15 and 13 there like six times. And then I'll show the ending. It's a lot of uh, a little bit of noise in there. I'm going to show you how to recreate it and stuff. So let's start here with this main uh, the melody of it. So it starts the fifth fret on the A string. Then you're going to go seven, five, four on the D. Then go five, four on the D again, and this time you're gonna jump down and play five, three on the A string. So all together so far. All right, so now you're gonna start over with this descending lick, which is now the second time through. The exact same, but instead of going five, three, you can do this. Seven, five. So we have this. Repeat it again. Ending with a five, three. So that's a five, three ending the third time through again. And then we do this like again, and it's a little bit different. So that's just that seven, five, four. Then five, four again. Then play five up to seven. So that's all on one string. Then up two frets to the ninth fret. And then up to this 12th fret on the D. And that kind of starts the exact same melody, but um, an octave higher. So we have this. So once you get here, you're gonna basically do the do the same thing you did on these two strings, but here. So that's 14, 12, 11 on the G string. You, you, then 12, 11 again, then 12, 10 on the D. So it's the exact same thing, but just here. And then the second time through, just like when we played it down an octave, and then repeat. And there you go again. It's just like the third time that we did here. So it's the exact same thing. So you should know that if you know this. So that was just 14, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 14, then up to. 16 and now we get to that different part of the solo which actually has a couple of guitars that is uh, creating some noise in there so one of them is just doing 15 to 13 like that 15 15 15 15 13 it's a vibrato on that 13 you do all that six times so after six times you have this
I know, crazy sound. That's what's going on. So we're going to have a whole step bend at the 15. And then do it again. Pull, uh, then release the bend. Pull off to 13. Over to 15 on the beat. And then come over to the D string and you're going to grab, and he's just trying to intentionally create noise here. And what he's basically hammering on the 14th fret and then pulling off to the open D. And, and, and do that, just kind of trill back and forth between the two notes. Now on top of while you're doing this, and you have another guitar going. It's just messing in between the 13 and the 15 on the high E. So it's be easy to pick up if you if you got the, a second guitar player to play along. You can even kind of add. But sometimes it's really not worth it. Just kind of dive on those two notes, the 15 and 13. Those are really the ones that are the, the more uh, the loudest in the mix. All right, so that's pretty much all the parts for this one. I'll see you guys soon for guitarlessons365.com.